You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan, or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. With our heroes now trapped in a situation to where Myrno has gathered all of Earth's Dragon Balls, and with Goku having to be trapped within an unknown realm, with Myrno now having to find Goku within it, as seen on the previous manga chapter video, we not only learned about the revelation of Dende and Vegeta sensing that Myrno doesn't really have any pure evil intentions within him, but being the fact that Myrno now wants to fight the entire Earth by himself, the question is, what exactly is Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, and everyone else going to do? Do, given Myrno's status of stealing all of the Dragon Balls, threatening all of our heroes and not using any other Dragon Balls being the fact that he will find them, do our heroes have what it takes to stop Myrno in the long run, or is Myrno simply going to overpower everyone once he ends up encountering them again? As once more before we begin, if you are new to this channel and have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, then be sure to smash that subscribe button on this channel and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload along with giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys love Dragon Ball and anime, as well as checking out the official Dragon Ball fan manga's playlist located down in the description box below, to where on that playlist you guys will be able to find all the latest and best Dragon Ball fan mangas created by the community for the community, so be sure to head on down below, check out the official Dragon Ball fan manga's playlist for all the best and latest videos on Dragon Ball fan mangas. As we kick off the Beyond Dragon Ball Super Kai Universe 13 Manga Chapter Number 9 Special, with all of the Z Fighters on Kame's lookout having to be floored by the thought of Myrno having to wage war against the Earth, and with everyone left wondering what to do, Piccolo went along to comment, versus the Earth? Has Myrno lost his mind? With Vegeta having to comment, I'm afraid he's dead serious about fighting the entire Earth. By this, he's probably going to do what he did to the people of West City and transport them all somewhere else. If he found great entertainment in myself and Kakarod, then surely he will stop at nothing to get his fun out of anyone and everyone he could before going after Zeno and the other angels. And with Goten and Trunks quickly chiming in, Trunks went along to tell his dad, Hey dad, I know this guy is strong and all, but me and Goten have been training on and off, and we want to help out. Since we aren't strong enough like this, maybe we'll use fusion, with Goten then chiming in and commenting, yeah, and then we'll show that guy not to mess with us. So the boys have absolutely no idea exactly who Myrno is or what he's capable of, but even then, after knowing the fact that he was still able to defeat Vegeta, they're still not backing down in suggesting fusion as Vegeta went along to comment, Tuh. as bad of an idea this is, I'm afraid at this point we have no other choice than to use everything we have as a measure to stop him. For this to work, we just may need every single single fighter we can get to defeat him. This won't be easy, damn you Myrno! Where are you, Kakarot? Which, to be quite honest, just off of this page alone, I am getting serious Dragon Ball Z Majin Buu arc vibes in the fact that we have Vegeta, Piccolo, Goten, Trunks, everyone's trying to figure out what to do, and even with Super Saiyan Blue, granted, even if Vegeta were to push himself into using Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, it's arguably still not going to be enough to battle against such a being like Myrno, considering the fact that Myrno is supposed to be one of the strongest angels, as Vegeta even recognizes the threat at hand and acknowledging the fact that it's not only going to be him and Kakarot they need, but literally everyone else, especially if Myrno is looking to battle against the entire Earth, as only back with Goku and the mysterious individual within the Void, we then observe how Myrno appears to be within the Void with Goku and this other mysterious person, as Myrno went along to tell Goku, and here I assumed you were somewhere else, mortal, as Goku went along to comment, am I seeing things or is that really him? He just popped out of nowhere, what's he up to? 
What is he talking about? As Myrno sticks his hand out, he goes on to greet Goku by telling him, It's so nice to see you again, son Goku. And with Goku then quickly getting into fighting position, he then went along to tell Myrno, I know exactly why you're here, Myrno. If you want to finish this, then let's do this. I'm ready. As the mysterious person cuts in, he then goes on to tell Goku, I wouldn't be so quick to attack now, Kakarot. Remember what it was I told you before. One must first understand before they take action. This is not the real Murno. This Murno is a creation of my own. In order for one to rid themselves of fear and anger, they must first confront the darkness. This Murno here is like a doll, created by me in order for you to gain a better understanding of this place. I am more than you see or know, Kakarot, so in case you guys are wondering, the Murno that's inside of this place with Goku and this other person is in fact a clone, just like all of the food that this person had made in the previous manga chapter out of literally nothing, he did the exact same thing here by essentially creating another Murno just for Goku to confront. As Goku went along to comment, hey, wait a minute, I thought you could only create endless amounts of food. How could you possibly create a living being out of nothing like that? So, are you like his dad? This is so weird. He looks and even feels like Murno. That energy I felt on Beerus' planet is the same as it is here with this clone. This is unbelievable. Why did you do it? As the mysterious person tells Goku, anything is possible in this realm, Saiyan. In fact, this clone has the exact battle power of Murno as well. There is nothing I cannot create or do. This goes for gods and angels as well. Murno is a feared powerful angel, stronger than most of his brothers and sisters. He will be the perfect sparring partner for you here, Kakarot. He won't hold back. As the clone went along to tell Goku, I hope you're ready. As the mysterious person then continues, there are rules that all things must go by in the 12 universes. This includes gods and angels. In this realm, however, the only rule is me. You will find this place much different than any other. This Myrna will be used as a tool for you to test your powers against. I want to see the extent of your powers against this clone. If you fail, I will heal you so you may try again against him, mortal." And with Goku absolutely taken back and confused, he went along to comment, "'This is all too much to take in at once. It kind of feels like a dream, but I'm awake. Say, uh, who are you exactly? You seem to know more than you let off. You are able to do many things here that I must know who you really are." And as this mysterious individual slowly lifts the hood off of his head, he went along to tell Goku, "...who I am is not important right now. I am simply a retired old man. Nothing more, nothing less." And need I chime in in the fact that this obviously looks like the Omni King, even though right now, we don't know who this is, if in fact this is the father of the Omni King, if in fact this is an alternative version to the Omni King, a much older Omni King. This gives me the original Dragon Ball vibes, if you guys remember when Jackie Chun first fought against Kid Goku in the original series, with Master Roshi having to simply disguise himself, that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting here, is the classic Goku and Jackie Chun situation to where, obviously this looks like Zeno, he has the same silhouette and build as Zeno, but the reason why he's hiding himself is quite unknown, as meanwhile back on Beerus' planet we get to see how Whis then begins to talk to Vegeta as he went along to comment, so my suspicions of him being on Earth was correct after all. And this is why you've all gathered to come to Beerus' planet? Myrno threatens to wage war against the entire Earth. It's a good thing you've come, as only then we get to see Vegeta, Gohan, Krillin, Master Roshi, Tien, Yamcha, Piccolo, Android 17, Android 18, Goten, Trunks, and Majin Buu, the entire squad minus Goku, is there, with Piccolo having to comment, this is a very serious matter, Whis, with Buu having to also comment, they all told Buu to fight, so Buu helped bring everyone here to fight Scary Angel Guy. They don't want Buu to sleep, so Buu wake up and help everyone, and I absolutely love the level of tension here in the fact that not only Vegeta understands that he needs everyone on his side to win this battle, Battle, but he also goes on to comment, This is no longer a problem between the angels, Whis. Myrno wants to fight all of us. We are no longer going to stand by and watch as creatures like Myrno destroy everything we've built. So these guys all tagged along because they all want to undergo training as well by you. All of us. We don't have time to waste. So I absolutely love 
the idea of people other than just Goku and Vegeta receiving training from the gods, and the fact that Gohan wants to be trained by Whis, Android 17 wants to be trained by Whis, Piccolo wants to be trained by Whis, Krillin wants to be trained by Whis, because everyone has this mentality that enough is enough. We can't stand idly by in the fact that what if Goku and Vegeta can't get the job done? What if they simply come across someone and they need help? They can't do nothing because they're weak, so now they've all come here to get stronger. And I absolutely love this fan manga for that, as out of nowhere only then, the Grand Priest pops in as he then goes on to respond to Vegeta, well then, since this is no longer an issue involving the angels, then we will help you during this time. As Whis goes on to cry out, Father! With the Grand Priest responding, I sense a great battle looming. Vegeta, son, I choose you. You will now face me one-on-one -on -one to better prepare you. I will train you myself. You have great potential. Now come. As Vegeta smirks, he went along to tell the Grand Priest to fight the strongest of the angel race. Second in command? Sounds perfect to me. Now let's just see what you can do, Priest. As only then we get to see how the Grand Priest and Whis are talking to everyone up above them, we eerily enough get to see how Murno is secretly spying on them by poking his head out of the portal he had created as he went along to say to himself, This is going to be so much fun. It's just as I thought it would be. You will all soon be dealt with. The game is only beginning. First it will be you, then my father, and lastly you. Zeno-sama, it's almost time, as the manga chapter special then comes to a close. Now, we are currently translating the next manga chapter in English to where you guys will be able to find that video located on the channel in about the next two days or so, so if of course you guys are stoked for that, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and what I really enjoy, what I really love about this specific fan manga is the fact that we are getting so many different vibes from Dragon Ball Z. I'm getting Cell Games vibes, Majin Buu arc vibes, and the fact that we have two different situations going on right now. Situation number one being the fact that this mysterious person in this realm seemed to have created this clone for Goku to spar up against in the fact that he looks like he wants to see what Goku has to offer in terms of being a mortal that possesses God Key, and maybe this person knows the full extent of Goku's powers, or maybe in fact he doesn't. With Goku being left Left in this realm by himself to battle against an unrestricted clone of Murno is definitely a situation that is bound to get Goku stronger if it doesn't already get him killed. And then the second situation is the fact that the Grand Priest wants to train Vegeta as he does deem him to be worthy enough in doing so, but also the fact that we have everyone else tagging along. It's not just Goku and Vegeta, it's Gohan, Piccolo, Tien, it's Majin Buu, everyone is there, and I love this overall narrative be presented because, again, just like the Cell Games arc, we saw how everyone came together just to simply fight against Cell, and to see everyone come together collectively to receive training from Whis is something that I can really appreciate, but in the end, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's say as a hypothetical, if Whis were to train Gohan, Piccolo, Majin Buu, Tien, Krillin, Goten, Trunks, do you guys believe that even with their significant power, increases that they would be able to even stand the chance in helping Vegeta against Murno. And the second question that I have is, let's say if Vegeta receives training from the Grand Priest while Goku trains with Murno, who do you guys think is going to become stronger between the two? And what do you think is going to happen to Murno once he ends up encountering a much more assumingly powerful Goku and Vegeta in the long run? Again, thank you all so much for your time. If you guys cannot wait for the next manga chapter special, then I do encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button and slap a big fat like down below. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well because I promise you what you guys are about to see in the next manga chapters is going to absolutely blow your mind as well as what's going on right now with the current situation involving the priest and we, Goku, Vegeta. So again, thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so much for watching. I know you guys can't wait. So right now, we're currently translating everything. But in the meantime, we do have the Dragon Ball Super manga to look forward to in terms of Moro having to fight Goku, Vegeta coming to Earth. So it's going to be a blast. Thank you all so much once again for your time, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys.
Peace. And the quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below. So be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai, IG3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck, Zarbon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I am the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k 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 -k